What's up with it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. And welcome back to the Lander Strip, man. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on. We're currently on the road to 5K, trying to get that done by the end of the year, man. So everybody, sub up, please. And thank you. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Say what you gotta say. If you don't like it, feel free to dislike it. It is what it is, bro. I ain't gonna hate you, oh, bro. It, I ain't, you know. <laughs> Who has a Heat Season 7 to be on the way real soon? So tap in for that, man. Subscribe to the Who Has a Heat YouTube channel and follow us on IG, man, to keep everything up and rolling. So we got a shoe, and I'm gonna show it to you, and I'm really excited about it, man. And I don't know how many people know about these, seen these, or whatever, but let's get it. Bam! Today, we have the Sire Collective. Now you see me do ones yourself, man. Fasten your lap belts and let's prepare to take flight. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Just giving you a shot of that size tag, man. I don't think nobody's faking Sire Collective, but they may be. You never know. He switched up the box a little bit on this joint, man. It's the same style box with your handle and all. It pulls open from the front, but it has uh, Now You See Me written all over it. It's not black. It's several different colors. Sire branded down here at the bottom. You have that pink on top, yellow here, green here purple you know just pretty much um all the colors that the shoe actually changes um this was one of the actually the last shoe that i pre-ordered i pre-ordered these joints uh, back in august and they showed up this week so uh came with a bunch of stuff this was actually the shoe tree <laughs> uh you got some foam down there in the bottom inside of the box is pretty much empty um, these were supposed to come with a UV light. I did not get a UV light. So if anybody got these, uh, let me know if you got a UV light because I definitely did not get one. Um, shoe trees that were in the shoes just balled up wads. You got a plastic bag for each shoe. It's the other stuff in there. Enjoy. You also got um, extra laces. These are the laces that came in them. I took them out already, but you got a blue wax lace and a short, white, regular, small rope lace. And that's all for your box and all that. <clears throat> then we got the actual shoe, man. And this shoe is crazy. Um, for the now you see me joint, um, you know it changes colors just like the Air Force Ones did. And that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to shoot because those Air Force Ones were a woman's release. So they didn't make my size. I know I love Air Force Ones, but um, I couldn't get those. And um, he TZ, so I just went ahead and got them joints. Took about three months to actually get here. Um, comment below if you actually like this sneaker. Did you cop this sneaker? Do you rock with Sire shoes or independent brands or whatnot? Y'all know I've probably I've got a decent amount of Sire content on the channel. So if you just want to go to my Sire playlist, you can check all those out. This will be added in there as well for the rest of my Sire content. I do that for all my brands, by the way. Nike, Jordan, Adidas, Puma, Sire, whoever. <laughs> so it's all down there man but to get into it man this shoe is a all leather upper um first leather shoe that i've actually caught from the brand um the leather feels pretty good but it's like really slick it's like a really slick that's the only way i can really describe it um you have your vulture head here instead of a traditional jordan logo you got the x on the dead eye on the actual face of the vulture uh, he's got this lacing system set up where you can put like the little x's these laces do glow so that's why i switched them out because they glow i got a little video i'm gonna put in here with the color change and everything because it's kind of cloudy today so i'm gonna try to hit the on foot and see if they'll change but they may not change i tried to hit it with the black light but that didn't really work <laughs> that didn't really work but all the panels change colors this is like tan the back is blue you got some purple some pinks in there um just the the color change is crazy on the shoe the laces glow the toe cap glows and the um sole glows also the top this top section of the tongue glows so you got your um all white toe cap you got your little volt stitch in here um 
laces, flat. Then you got this doubled up tongue here, two piece tongue. First one does not glow, but the second one does. Flipping around to that lateral side, same thing, vultures on the side with your V. Boom, on the back you got this little quilted print that he puts on the, um, like the skates and the, the do once yourself lows and all that. Pull tab. Interior is kind of crazy. Volt on the inside. Then you have this blue piece back here in the back. Um, all white midsole. And then you've got that glow outsole that's out also side branded. Crazy on the touch, right? Foolish. Foolish. So that's that. Flip it around here to the edge so you guys can see. It would have been dope if these went with two different patterns on the shoe. That would have been crazy. But the shoe looks white on the camera, but looking at it, you can see what kind of changes what color. But it's it's very faint until you actually get that get that UV light on it. But solid had to copy. I think the shoe was like 230 or 240, somewhere in there. That's what we paid for these. Um glad to have them in the collection, man. Color changes a fool, glow is a fool. This will be my fifth shoe from the Saya brand, and I think I'm gonna cop one more. Depending on what they cost. I don't know what they're gonna cost. They cost too much money, I ain't gonna buy them. But these, I'm good with them. Um, size and true to size, this is a size 14. Bought my normal size, they fit fine. We have no real fit issues. Comforts, not a lot of comfort to be had with these. I'm not gonna hold you. Similar to your Chuck Taylors or any of these flat base bottom shoes it's, you know you're not you're not gonna be wowed by comfort with these you know it's not like an inverno or the the culture vulture sock versions those are far more comfortable than these just keeping it one thou wow with y'all you're not getting comfort this is more for flash frail look you know shoe ain't gonna make your feet hurt but you know you ain't gonna be wild like oh my god that was great so either way boom that's what you got um we're gonna get into this on foot action and all that. Appreciate you guys coming through, stopping by, watching the video, and supporting your boy, man. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holla at you.